Hi, this is Linda Morris, and today I want to talk about Nikan's where it all began, actually with the insoles, the um, magnetic, far infrared, and negative ion technology insoles. And these were the product that uh, Mr. Musuda began with back in 1975. However, they have progressed and gotten better and better over the years. In fact, these actually these little magnetic far infrared and negative ion um, buttons, actually, as you walk, I don't know if you can hear that, it actually creates even more energy. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And we're going to talk about them. So I'm going to start first with the M steps. And let me see, I'm going to make this big. Er. <laughs> but it still looks, oh, Sharon is paused. Share. Resume share, please. Okay, take two. One more time. Okay, looks like I shared a different one, but it's okay. So these are actually, you can see like these little bumps. And the original M, uh, mag steps, they were called, actually had bigger bumps. And the original ones had bigger bumps on one side and smaller bumps on the reverse side because they wanted to combine that acu, acupressure points, those meridians, you know, you're, the bottom of your foot has all of the meridians that are tied to all the different parts and organs and systems of our body. So by putting these in your shoes with the bumps, it actually would um, stimulate all those nerve endings. And I myself on a flight to um, Paris, I remember I was, um, I had the uh, mag, uh, mag steps and the original ones that had the bumps. And you know, on stocking feet after, uh, okay, it was 24 hours of being on your feet, um, because of my commute from Florida to St. Louis and then the flight, and once you get there, you're out running around. After like 24 hours, it's like, okay, I've had enough bumps. And um, that pair, you could actually turn them over. It would be flat and smooth on the other side, like enough bumps. And I remember I was sitting down, having a cup of coffee at one of those uh, Parisian cafes, and I was getting tired, but we weren't done yet. You know, it's like when you only have a 30 hour layover in Paris, you gotta get, you gotta get out and do everything. So, I remember thinking, well, I wonder what will happen if I turn them up. Maybe the bumps will wake me up again. And it did. And I went ahead and, you know, we played the whole day until like 10 o'clock at night. So I don't know what that's what, probably 30 some hours without sleep and on your feet. And um, so they woke me up again. So that's the extra bonus benefits that you get with having the bumps. And uh, but you know the American way is not necessarily having all of the bumps um, because uh, a lot of people have more sensitive feet, <laughs> sensitive soles, right? So Nikan came out with our Meg strides that do not have the bumps. But anyway, Kinko M Steps insoles feature relaxing massage nodes, extraordinary comfort, Nikan triphase technology, and patent pending Dynaflex operation that acts like a magnetic field generator in your shoe. Let M step show you what a power trip is all about. So here we are on the quick reference street step uh, sheet with Dynaflex and Triphase technology. Nikan introduced the first magnetic insoles in 1975. Ever since, Nikan research and development continues to lead in advanced engineering and super superior features found nowhere else. Only Kinko M steps combine Dynaflex magnetic technology, far infrared and negative ion innovations and a stimulating massage surface. Dynaflex places individual magnets in polar opposition, positive or negative poles facing each other at several points. Magnetic field is intensified producing a flux path that extends further from the surface. Dynaflex is the only technology using permanent magnets that can accomplish this without requiring an increase in Gauss strength. The multiple ankles afford 100% magnetic coverage. Dynaflex allows each magnet a precisely controlled degree of movement, 
When applied against a surface will cause slight shifts in angle as the opposing magnets change position relative to each other. Repeated action creates a dynamic magnetic field. Exclusive triphase technology adds gentle far infrared energy in soothing negative ions. Raised surface points provide the refreshing sensation of a foot massage when walking, standing, or sitting all day. Shock absorbing material promotes increased comfort. Low density and high density polyethylene is durable and long wearing. So increased magnetic coverage works as you walk, comfortable and strong. And care, you just you wash them off <laughs> if you need to wash them up. And you actually trim them to fit whatever size shoe you have. So we have the women's was uh, women's size five to nine and men's is large size seven to 12. And on the back of them, there are actually little guidelines. So you just trim them with a pair of scissors. So I'm gonna move from that over to the uh, M strides, see if this works. It did not work. Okay, we'll go back and try, try it a different way. But um, one, take two, take three. Okay, yay, it worked. Uh, no, it did not. That's the same ones. Hmm. Let me go. Okay, this worked though. <laughs> so the Kinko. M strides are a major step forward in design and engineering with exclusive Dynaflex magnetic technology and exceptional comfort. These are the most advanced and durable insoles in the world. So these are the M strides. And if, they, if you're trying to distinguish mag M steps to M strides, the strides do not have the little bumps. I mean, the bumps are little. So after the first day, you don't really even, you're not consciously aware of them because they're, they're smaller than the original ones. So it's just enough little stimulation that it doesn't annoy you at all. There's no annoying here. So Kinko M strides are, um, let's see, I already read that. Let's just move on to the, to the rest of the page. Come on, move, there we go. And, so uh, let's see, I already read that part. So it's going to be the same, only these do not have the little bumps. And once again, you can just trim them. There's guidelines on the back. Um, it's really great that they actually have on here this side down. So it's like, oh, wait, which side? It says this side down in your shoe. Made it really, really simple for people to understand. I live in Florida, we wear a lot of sandals, flip flop type sandals. And, um, oh, but how do I hold these in my shoes? I wear sandals, I don't wear closed toe shoes. I've been hearing that for, okay, 25 years. So what I did is um, you take a pair of scissors, just a good, good pair of scissors, not a little pair. And I have figured out that if I cut out one of these little air vents, I just cut it straight down and then I get the sticky Velcro and I put the uh, hook Velcro on the back center, right where it says this side down of this. And then on the shoe, I put the fluffy Velcro right in the arch and that holds it in place. So you don't have to cut them if you don't have the little toe thing. If it's just a, you know, a shoe that is just, it would just slide in because if you don't have it, a backless shoe is going to slide out and it will annoy you. So just putting the Velcro in the center of this and then also the shoe. And I put the fluffy in the middle of the shoe just in case for some reason you're not wearing the insoles, like you forgot them and you're just running out the door. Um, so that's my little extra tip. And I have figured out if I cut out one of these little air vents and uh, you could even do it at an angle so it goes on. And that way it'll actually fit with those that have the little toe piece in the front of the sandal. So that's my little tip on how to wear those. Does anybody have a testimony that they would like to share? And then I'm actually gonna show the uh, Dr. Weintraub a study that was done with our previous design, but still on the magnetic insoles. And that was with diabetic neuropathy. Elaine, go ahead, Elaine. Thanks, um, I will pull my hand down. 
Um, I've <laughs> actually uh, two stories. Um, one is I have a, a hard time walking and I have a hard time, uh, like things like shopping where you're walking, stopping, walking, stopping, you know, if I can just walk, you know, on a walk, that's fine. But the walking and stopping is hard. And so I was going to the zoo with grandchildren one day, which is hours of walking and stopping. But I had my insoles in and I noticed that I had energy through the whole day. I still had energy at the end of the day, just like you said about Paris. So that was pretty cool. Um, the other story that happened more recently was um, my youngest daughter was pregnant and um, throwing up constantly. And she had even been to the hospital and they didn't help her and didn't give her anything, just send her home. And she called me at one o'clock in the morning. And she said, she said, mom, I've got this horrible, horrible head aching because, you know, I've been throwing up and I, and I, she was dehydrated and because she couldn't keep anything down. And she said, can you come and make me feel better? And Aww. I've been in NECAN for many years. And so I had tools and I took about five techniques with me. And of all the techniques, I decided to use the, the insoles on her head. And in this case, um, I just put one at her, at her forehead and then I put the other at the back and I just mm -hmm. held it there. And I figured that aspirin takes about 20 minutes to hit in. So I was going to just sit there and hold them for 20 minutes and just let the effect happen. And it did calm her and she was able to go to sleep. In the morning, she texted me and she said, thank you, mom. Actually, the minute you put them on my head, I felt better. That's awesome. What a great mom you are. <laughs> well, it's nice that she lives close enough. I could do that. That's true. Thank you for sharing. Those are great, great stories. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I do want to mention, like a lot of people live in, you know, hard floors in their houses. Like um, my, my house has terrazzo, which is a really hard, hard floor. <laughs> and I've lived here five and a half years and I've, I'm, I've been a barefoot girl at home. But I've noticed like in the last few months that I need to wear shoes because that hard floor, it's hard on your feet. So I now have these in uh, shoes that I, you know, I can just slip on in the house and um, that way your feet don't hurt. I mean, I've always known that about, you know, people work um, like on cement, you know, uh, you know, or a tile wherever at work but I hadn't really thought about it at home because I don't always wear shoes as much at home. But um, these make such a huge difference if you're having any type of foot issue. And I myself, if I, whenever I go to um, like my bar class and occasionally they have a cardio bar class and normally in bar class, you're barefoot. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I ran out to the car because I always keep extra shoes, you know, whether it's for scuba diving or <laughs> snorkeling, going to the beach. Um, or a pair of tennis shoes and I put a pair of tennis shoes on and I noticed, you know, I'm, you know, it's like a cardio class and I'm like, man, my feet, my legs, they just don't have the energy today. I'm like, huh, do I have insoles in these shoes? You know how you talk to yourself. So I actually stopped, pulled off my shoe. Cause I, I put them on my tennis shoes. I put them under the inner sole. So there isn't friction and nope, no insole. I'm like, Hmm. So these make such a huge difference. And it's usually and often when you forget to wear them that you're like, wow, I need my insoles. So on that note, let's go over to Barbara Bertuzzi. Um, yeah, talking about insoles, let me put my little hand down. Um, you know, when I first got involved in NECAN, I had really cold hands and really cold feet. It was just something that I just thought that's my nature, that's how I am, and that's what I, I do. Well, over the course of the first week, I don't know, it, it, my feet sweat. So they, they detox and sweat. And, and actually, you can detox heavy metals from your feet. There's a lot of known things about it. I didn't know anything about that at the time. All I know is that my feet sweat a lot. Even, even if I had socks and stuff, 
and they smelled. Yes, Linda's making a face because I couldn't take my shoes off in the car. Couldn't do it. I had to leave my shoes outside unless I washed my insoles right away. And now after about six months, maybe eight, nine, something like that, I started warming up. I noticed I warmed up. And then I didn't have to wash my insoles every day when I took out my shoes or leave them outside. Actually, my, oh. my calculation, I think it was a year. It was a year. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're best friends, I can tell that. <laughs> you know, you don't know about saying this, but you know, when you think about detoxing heavy metals and getting those things out of your body and then warming up, I mean, that's, those are big things that, uh, we don't know why we don't have that great a, a circulation on our peripheral things, but these things definitely impacted my life and shifted my my core being, which was tremendous. So yeah, the insoles were a great, and I happen to be a reflexologist. So all our nerve endings in in our feet and our hands. And so you can tune and balance out the body in more ways than you know. And that was one way that helped me. <laughs> Thanks, <Linda. laughs> it, it's true. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's like, and you never know who's going to have that reaction, you know, because <laughs> it's like sometimes it just happens, but it's getting out. And the fact that you actually had the, the, the back issue and so many people, they think, oh, I just put the back flex on. That's all I need. It's like, no, to actually get optimum best, you need the insoles and the back flex and maybe the back wrap because those feet, those legs and that back are so connected and just having these in make a huge difference. But like, you know, you wear in the back, the five by seven back flex also. And of course yeah. the sleep system is vitally important too for long-term health. So <laughs> thank you, Barbara, for sharing. Thanks. Let's see, I have a couple more hands. June, I think you are first. Oh. I had not been introduced to Nathan very long, and I was sharing how the insoles helped so much with my energy. And I would mention this to a friend who was a, a vet. And when he was in veterinarian school, he was working with a cow that had stepped on his toe, and his toe had been black for years. And this was like 10 or 15 years after veterinarian school. And after he had wore the insoles for about a week, he said, you did not know this, but I had a black toe and my toe is not black anymore. It has, the circulation had returned and it was looked like the rest of his, uh, his feet. So it really, really helps and it gave him a lot more energy also. Thank you. Yeah, and actually bringing up veterinarians, I've actually been out and uh, taught a farrier how to put the insoles in a horse's shoe because they have all that weight they're carrying on those four little legs. And sometimes they, they have problems. And like, I, I remember one um, trainer, it would take an hour for her to get this one mare to lift her hoof. And when she, she actually duct taped these onto that mare under her feet, you know, cut them. So it's like, you know, like this and this, so they could put it on the, on the horse's feet. <laughs> yes. And she's like, the next day it took 20 minutes. She's like, wow, this is like amazing. So thank you for mentioning the, the vet in the, in a couple of different ways. I appreciate it. Okay. Let's see. I saw another hand up. Was that Hattie? Oh, was, well, Marsha, I see Marsha right now. Okay. <laughs> Um, I had a situation where when, when I sat or lay down um, and then stood up and stepped down on my foot, it was searing, hurting. It hurt a lot. Um, searing agony? Is that what you're going to say? Searing <laughs> agony, yes. <laughs> um, so what I just started to do was to put a mag stride um, at, at the side of my bed. So when I would get out of bed in the morning, I would step down on the mag strides and I wouldn't have that hurting happen. Wow. So would you just stand there for a minute or would you shuffle it along with you? I just, <laughs> I, I couldn't step out of the bed without the mag stride being there. With the mag stride being there, I could just step out of the bed and step down on my full weight without a problem. Wow. 
that's cool. That's that's creative, Marsha. Yeah. <laughs> Linda, it's sharing. Gary up in Maine. Hey, Gary in Maine. Yes, good morning. So uh, you were talking about uh, being on hard floors. So I spent um, a time working at Trader Joe's as a crew member, and we have eight solid hours buzzing around the store. And I always wore my mag steps. And about five years ago, when the mag strides were introduced, I'd come home from a, a work shift at Trader Joe's. The package had arrived from Nikan. I opened the package, took out the mag strides, and placed them on the floor. And I put my stocking feet on top of the new mag strides and just sat there. And though I had the mag steps in my shoes for the eight hours, I could feel a tingling going up my calves, like to, the, to my knees, just by placing my feet on this new technology. And that's what I really love about uh, Nikon is that they're a research and development. So they have great products and then they take it to the next step, no pun intended, uh, uh -huh. in terms of further, de further development. And so I just came home from uh, about a two mile walk having dropped off my car. And here I am now at home, living, living happily ever after. Aww. That's sweet. Thank you. And just made me put put them under my desk on the floor because <laughs> I'm barefoot. So great yeah, idea. Yeah, it's it's a great uh, a great innovation. Thank you, Gary. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I mean it's like that's whenever Nikon improves something, they improve it. And uh, like I actually have a new uh, nurse consultant here, and she only got the insoles and like the the magdual, the rolling magnets. And she said, she's a nurse and she's like, oh, my back was hurting. So she, she actually took them out of her shoes and put them on her back. And I'm like, oh, you're a Nikan person because that's what we do. You, you, you figure it out with what you have. So, and uh, yeah, breathing issue, take it out of your shoe, put it over your lungs. Anxiety, take it out, put it over your heart. And as Elaine said, Headache, put it over your head. <laughs> okay, so we have Elaine Matthews. You have your hand raised. Go ahead, Elaine. Years back when I worked on the turnpike, I had to stand on the concrete all the time. And uh, it was hurting my ankle. I had chipped the bone in my ankle um, really bad. And um, this ankle would swell, throb, ache, and hurt all the time standing so i got those mag steps back in the beginning in 97 and wow in no time all that discomfort and agony went away and it was 12 years of suffering that uh that i had endured until i put those in my shoes and that was the reason i kind of went on and looked at the sleep system and looked at other products and I've already taken the inserts too and put them on my lungs because that's all I had with me because of my breathing problems. And, and I, I, one day I got burned at uh, a restaurant touching a hot plate and uh, I got them out of my shoes and I put my hand on my lap and put the inserts on my, on my hand. And boy, the, that burning went away and in no time, my hand was fine. It, it never blistered. It never gave me a problem. So uh, I, I use all my products. And over the years, they've helped me tremendously. I love the new ones, too. The, the new technology, like you said, is so improved. And uh, my ankle, that chip is still in there. And uh, if I don't wear my inserts, I know it. So I just go get my shoes and put them on. And I feel fine and I can go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, and the thing is, like these little power buttons, mm -hmm. um, Nikan now has a little replacement pack. They, they'll sell 10 of them because I had, I remember I had one insole, it, was, it broken one. And I talked to Nikan. I said, can't we get replacements for these? It's perfectly fine. I just need one button. And they actually did it. <laughs> So we have the replacement buttons and you have to kind of work it in there. 
But that way, um, you know, if any of them break for whatever reason, um, you, you can fix it. I love that. Let's see, any other hands? Don't think I see any more right now, but boy, do we love these insoles. And uh, you know what it's doing? And actually we have a balance test, strength test, um, energy test with these, um, with you on them, with not, uh, not on them and then back on them. And as I tell people, I'm like, we can go do the same test outside barefoot in the grass and it'll duplicate what standing on this is, which is actually duplicating if you were actually standing outside barefoot in the grass. Um, so, and you just can't always go barefoot in the grass because, well, there's other things that happen there. So Meekin is duplicating what mother nature gives us and how we were originally supposed to walk the earth but um, this is a little bit more hygienic and um, it, it's just replacing what mother nature does for us. And our, our soles are our feet that, you know, those tied to every other, other part of your body. How brilliant was it of uh, Mr. Masuda to actually figure out how to do that? Just put it in your shoe and you're going to have better health. So these are the Nikan M strides and M steps. So get them, use them, and you will love them. Especially when you forget them, then you're gonna really love them. You're like, oh, I forgot my insoles. So uh, sometimes you need to get a couple pairs so you don't have to move them from shoe to shoe, but you will, you will get it and you will love it. So try them, you'll like them. <laughs>